Hey, this is Candia Raquel, founder of Centro de Poder. Welcome to the Sensual Sessions podcast, the place to explore sensing pleasure through your senses and expressing yourself completely free from inhibition. And today we have a very special guest. This is Lázaro Godoy. He's a Cuban dancer that has traveled all around the world with the greatest companies and choreographers of the height of Jiri Kilian. And now he has his own project. He's a choreographer. And I'm very happy to, to welcome him. So happy to have you here, Lázaro. Such an honor. Um. First of all, uh, I want to thank you for uh, this invitation and I am happy to be here and uh, definitely this is my first time sort of doing this, you know, I'm not really uh, good communicating through the medias. I, I do my best since uh, the vocabulary that I use is my body language and that's the best way for me to communicate. But I do my best to to be here and and, and you know uh, share with you uh, my language. Yeah, that's fascinating because your language is is the language of all of us, the language that goes beyond words. Because in a way, we all speak body. Yes. <laughs> and we all also we speak love, but somehow we've been like alienated. Uh, full of messages in social media and e everything that we forgot about sensing our body and communicating through our body and flesh and, and movement. So tell us, when was the first time that you discovered that, yeah, like this is my language, this is my way, even my way of being in the world? Yes. Uh, uh, I, I don't know if it's that I discover because uh, it's somehow it was always living inside of me, that movement. And it's almost like something that uh, it was always there, present since, since the day I was born. Uh, even when I was in the womb of my mom, I, I could still remember that little movement uh, that I had there because wow. uh, for many reasons, uh, it was uh, uh, some sort of, difficulties and, and struggles and she was a female you know alone uh, struggling in Cuba and you know having me I remember that it was always uh, for me the the struggle that she went through uh, with uh, my father and all of that uh, it's almost like there's a memory in my body and I still carry that within me so I learned, now I discovered all of that, that. Now I'm discovering that, you know, and what it is. But I was always living, it was always there. And it's this uh, um, uh, fire, you know, and that keeps me going. And actually any obstacles were not obstacles and it was almost uh, something to inspire me to continue moving and expressing. So the body and the movement, it was a way of me healing all of that, you know. So it went beyond the dancing and, and that's, that's, you know, so it, it, it's even before that. And I, I'm doing a lot of research about that and, uh, and, and here I am. So, uh, you know, uh, now I'm creating a solo and it's traveling soon. Yes. And uh, I hope to touch as many people as I can and, and share my, my, my findings and my knowledge. Yes, touch many people and share your findings because when we see movement, we are touched by the movement of the other person, even if it's not a physical, like now I, I'm sensing your body with my body. And I love the way that you say that you're pretty much in yourself, like in the context of the fleshly sensed experience of you, of, of the body that you are. And you get to have these memories from from early childhood back to to being in your yeah. mom's womb. So m maybe we all have that, but we are so distracted with whatever thing that we just don't listen to to our. Yeah, body. because now what's happening nowadays is that everything is normal, and actually it's so abnormal what's happening 
with air, you know the the technology and and the surrounding uh, around even the starting the education and and all the noise there is constantly yeah. distractions of consuming and 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 being distracted and always uh, looking for something that that is not uh, is not complete and actually uh, i believe that that movement and the body and what we got is is even uh, uh it's the most valuable thing that that we got, you know, as a gift. And I, I have been uh, so uh, thankful for carrying all these years and continue doing what I love to do in relation with movement, dance, creativity. Like right now, you know, I'm right here in, in this beautiful uh, theater and, and space. And I'm just, uh, you know, feeling and, and the memories of, of movement and, and, and enjoying it because it's totally uh every time we move we get closer to the inner child that we have you know yes. and we are separating from that and and nowadays we don't play as much you know we don't uh, yes. we we are constantly uh succeeding to try to succeed and to arrive somewhere with things around and and our physicality and, and our body is is is, is getting uh, tired and it's heavy and it's, uh, you know, uh, it's not helping us to to have a pleasant journey in this life, you know? Yes. And that's the pleasure within the movement and the body and it's healing. So what we do as dancers or creator is not just a performer, you know, doing a show. I believe we are healers, all of us, when yes. we are moving and touching to uh, those people that are near and when you're in the same space and you move with a group of people there's a, you know uh, there's a communication and it's not even uh, the words or the sound it's just in between the space and the oxygen and what we breathe that is giving us a reflection that we are still existing in this body and the physicality is marvelous and we can fall and get up again with no problem you know Yes, we can fall and get up again with no problem. We are yeah. in our physicality. It's no big deal. It's like playing, like you fall, you get up. What's yeah. what's the problem? Whereas if we are just focused on succeeding, we we are everywhere but here. Like we are waiting to accomplish the goal and having that mindset derails us from the pleasure moment by moment that in actuality has lots to do with the quality of the process because when you're playing you're really into it you're really into the the fleshly experience of what you're doing even even when we were kids when we were playing we were all in and that level of concentration cannot be forced you you cannot get that engaged into reality as when you are blissfully playing and that's why this idea of just succeeding without playing becomes contradictory and paradoxical because you cannot succeed yes if if you don't for, like you're not gonna uh win the world cup as messi if you are not as involved in playing the game of football as Messi, because that guy dances, that guy improvises, and he, like he has a special awareness. So, the se like now I'm getting a fascinating reframe of what you say about success, because a lot of people want to be successful to be seen by the rest of people, like someone important to grab the attention. And that's what you already have when you're in st on stage. Like now you're on stage and that theater is gonna be full of people looking at you, but you're not standing in that like uh, position of success. You're there standing with their attention as a healer. Yes, uh, because uh, you, you take them on a journey, you know? Yes. Uh, and and usually, you know, when you're performing, you are becoming a mirror, a mirror. Of, of people in a way. It's a reflection. And even if, if when we are talking, 
you become that reflection when we are present, you know, and when the body, uh, body to body is near or hold the hands, you're already, you're printing, you're living a memory, you know? So, and, and that reflection is, is like, you pass me a message uh, unconsciously. You not you don't need to exactly know that, that I'm doing it. I don't need to tell you, you know, it's almost like I'm there with you in that particular space and sharing with you the information and the body's communicating uh, beyond, you know, beyond the, the understanding. So, and for me, that, that's a very, uh, you know, critical, like in a way of like, to, to observe and to, and to learn from that experience that I'm living, you know, every time I'm sharing uh, uh, anything that has to do with my craft, with my art, you know, as, as, a, as, a, as a dancer, as a performer, as a choreographer, so uh, as a human being, because this, the movement is, is something so natural that all of us have it, even though we think we need to be trained in order to be a particular uh, uh, performer or dancer or movement, you know, and, and it's something that is a language, it's a universal language. It's, a, it's like everybody can rock, everybody can fall, everybody can jump, everybody, you know, even though you have limitations, you can still do it because uh, the spirit, you know, the, you go beyond so you, you the essence that there is 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 you're trying you there you present and that present you know even if you're sitting you're present with that and you're moving and and it goes beyond the body you know yes 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 it's a language that that is not discursive it's a, our primal and universal language movement as the body and we all can relate to that and again i'm loving this way of you being being there not for the applause or not just for for the recognition yeah but i mean it's always beautiful to get someone you know uh, the applause because applause what it does for me i always think of applause not of like applauding of recognition like oh what a great you know more yeah. of creating sound and energy between people you know so it's actually the applause is more for the audience yes. than for the <laughs> performer. Yeah. That's what I always think about. It. It's like, because when you do that and you're next to each other, that applause create as a mass yes. is an incredible feeling of vibrations and frequencies. And, and so it's not even about the applause. I always think like, like why do we applause? You know, yes. why? What is it that we do? I, I'm questioning because when a politician is there, everybody applauds, right? Yeah. So you think about it, like, what is that? You know, are, are we, there's something more about it. There's yeah. not just applause to recognize who is up there, you know? So yeah. I need to ask myself that question. Do I yeah. want to, I'm applauding not for, you know, it's to be together because yes. we are connected. To be together. If we, make, yes. if we make one clap together, synchronize, such an impact in the world such one a, yeah you know together at the same time like at the time. <laughs> we go then, you know it's like Pluto. <laughs> yeah. so yeah so i always think about that as connecting and and when i do the you know i'm there so when i look at people okay so i wonder are you know they like clap for yourself you know basically you know yeah. i i feel like like i want to i want to be part of like observe to look at something and then clap because we are together in this room, you know? Yes, because we are together. Bringing people together. Yeah, and that's what we do. It's like their moment to express their present through movement. And with their applause, Perfect. even if you cannot see their faces or at least clearly, with their applause, they are touching you. So yes. it's. Yes, and it's connected. To the, uh -huh. it's like it's it bringing it's like I, I, yeah and we, again, have, we have that power of the movement we have that power of bringing people together and that's the essence of what i wanted to do and carry on is to bring people together you know because uh, movement has no boundaries has no separation and and you know no gender no question of whether it's uh, or color it's just a sensation and a feeling, and it's a liberation, totally, you know? It's, it's, a, it's a way of, of expressing and healing. So I do it for so many reasons, 
So one of them is so that I can express myself, you know, and then be able to like continue healing because the body eventually is going to like, you know, little by little start to get tired, right? Yes. And no matter how much I want to, but the, the thing that is inside stays light, which is, you know, that part of us, the spirit, the soul, spirit. that's the light. The body you let go, but that essence, you know, is like illuminating the, the personality, that, that part within in all of us together, you know, and, 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 and I always encourage people to just like jump, play, move, you know, and, and without judging so much, whether you are a dancer or not. So I'm trying, I'm putting myself sometimes in situations where I'm not that as a good dancer, you know, <laughs> like, like, uh, you know, like, like the experienced dancer or yeah, like be more relatable because yes. if you do the great things that I have seen you do, it's like, uh, <laughs> I would be like, I want to be like Lazaro. I want to be a Lazara. <laughs> Godoy doing all that. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I'm not the, trying to impress the, you know. And, and that's a, it's a like, radical shift. Like, okay, being in the world to be recognized and looked at or being in the world with and as the world making, creating, moving, touching, healing, inspiring as, as the last video that you sent me and I'm going to add by the, to the end of, of this recording because it's beautiful. Wait, and which, which one, excuse me, which, which video? The, the, the little the, airplane the, the and the notes in the notes. Oh, okay, yes. That actually, it's a video I did. It's a video I did taking notes because I like to take notes like, you know, uh, as recording the process and that's like a note for me to remember. And then, you know, it's, it's like it makes sense in a way for me to look at it. So, but if you want to share, go ahead. You know, it's, it's, uh, oh, thank, thank <laughs> it's you. like, okay. a, I'm going to share your private notes. I, I might take it away. So I'm not sure. <laughs> I might take it away. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe I should send you a video. You, you, you know, yes. I was thinking, well, should I take it away? Well, like, no, no, you know? don't take it away. Don't be shy because it's, you know, okay. because that, that video conveys sensations with this universal language that doesn't require any words or discourse or evocation, even like just images and and your your movement that has ha a particular Thanks. meaning for me and triggers you know triggers movements in me. It, I feel emotions and in regards to that, uh, you you said that you are pretty much like in yourself, in your body. You lived in many countries. Last time I, I knew about you, I, you were in really? Tel Aviv and now you're in Miami. I was in Tel Aviv, correct, yeah. correct. I was in Tel Aviv. Yeah, and you traveled a <laughs> lot. And, and you said like, you are a lot in your body, in the physicality, but but especially like you are with yourself and that helps you heal. Yes, no matter. And for yeah, and people, whatever. Yeah, and for yeah, many people, any, yeah, any. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Excuse me. And, go ahead. For many people, it's scary to be with themselves. Like they, they rather scroll on TikTok or go eat a Starbucks than being with themselves. Like they, I feel that if one doesn't spend much time in contact with your sensation, with your fleshly beingness, like this can be like a mysterious and even scary place, especially because we are bombarded that you are too fat, you're too old, your body shape, you're not tall or whatever thing. And when you get in touch with the body is like, it's a strange place. So what, what would you share with us? To, to like <laughs> make pieces with our, with ourselves and and be more in in our physicality uh I, I'm, you know if if i i always uh, i always feel like uh, you know we sometimes we are not taking charge of ourselves mm -hmm. and it's very difficult to be in, in uh, as an individual you know and and inspire yourself in a way when you know when you don't have other people around to share right and then you get a little bit down and there's isolation and 
in the body because we are species that are meant to be uh, surrounded by people and connected you know we we kind of like like that we, we we used to live in tribes and you know and and it was the most peaceful peaceful uh environment uh on those tribes like many of them you know living together as a community right so and with time we are more as uh, individuals and and trying to we separate ourselves and so i will always recommend uh, to to reach out you know to reach out to not stay in the even even though you know to, to it's, it's almost like like looking at someone you know and, and reach out without any uh, doubt or, or judgment or you know reach out say hello uh, you know have a little moment together and then start from that because first you need to encounter someone else right because how long can you be on your own right and 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 it's fun to move and to do something on your own but uh, there's something missing you know and and how many people don't have a touch you know how many people don't don't get a sense reacting like that so the first thing is to reach out to a friend to someone even an animal you know you look for your cat look for your dog start wrestling you know start playing start you know wrestling start playing like catch like you know i catch you catch me this kind of like little things that are like playing yeah and it starts from that take a few balls in the house and try to juggle or pass it or throw it against the wall and then don't let it hit you slide you know because we are creatures that we can invent we can be uh, super creative uh, in many ways and we are limiting ourselves and we are holding back and we are like isolating and then we are not really you know looking for that integration and understanding through the body and through the games so i will encourage anyone to just go out do a little game jump bounce on a you know on the bed i don't know <laughs> just take a don't pillow go the bed. Go <laughs> on your bed or go look for a different you know one of the things I do sometimes in the house is like I, I get up my bed and I don't get up like right like normal I just crawl I start you know I, I roll okay. and I, 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 I before I arrive to where I need to arrive a little bit like a baby and you know and that kind of helps me it's like a little game that I got you know myself to do to, to, to do and I'm like oh I'm, I'm gonna be you know I'm gonna be like a little baby or like a little you know like a cat and I'm gonna walk around the house you know, like that before I arrive to brush my teeth, or, you know, because there are habits, we create habits and patterns. And all we got to do is like switch a little. So if I can do that, and I'm 80 or 90 years old, and I can still do that, you know what, I'll be, I'll, I'll be, I'll be blessed. You know? so, it's, it's, so I got to keep the rhythm, you know, so I encourage people to do such things like that, you know, and, and, and of course, dancing and music, but really, you know, uh, reach out, reach out and, and express yourself uh, with the physicality, with the body, you know? Yes, play, Le live a, a playful and creative, joyous life. Ah, this is yes. fascinating. This is <laughs> Thank you. This is uh, it, wonderful. And, and it's so easy at the same time. Like we, we already know because we were kids like but then we were educated we need now to self educate ourselves and yeah like I'm, I'm gonna do that tomorrow like i'm gonna roll out yeah to the head yeah and, and take time and be there like roll and crawl and be like you know remember that instinct it's like yeah. i always say we have that little animal inside of us you know yes it's, it's, it's like a living uh, creature you know and i look at it yeah. and we are all different even though we look the same sort of like we're humans we're not like we're not like like you know you see when you look at, at, at let's say a, a cat you see them all they just have different colors but they're all like clone but we are not we are not like that you know we're not clones you know yeah. we are not like that we have a different sort of each and each and one of us is very unique individual which is this is the an outfit you know the, yeah. it's like you know i fit but we are so different and living in this space together and it's beautiful and so 
you got to find out what is that that you have inside of you, you know? Yeah, and I encourage that. Each and one of it. That's what, you know, to unleash that uniqueness, that individuality that is like connected to connected. all of us. Yeah. It's, it's the root. Is basically the instinct. So yeah. I encourage to to work on that and to and to find who are you, you know? What is it? What is it that makes you, you know? that makes you jump, that makes you bounce, that makes you swim, that makes you light, you know? Yeah, a... yeah. Find, find the little animal that you are and let it out once and for all. Yeah, yeah. yeah don't, don't put it on the cage, you know? Don't <laughs> and have other ones that you can share together that yeah. game and be like, <laughs> like a little family. And then eventually you can play and, and then be like, oh, okay. Wow, so because you might be able to carry me on, you know, I'm, I'm, I might be light. I need to jump higher. The other one is strong, base, lift you. You yeah. know, so we all can support that structure. It's yeah. each other, yeah. Coming together. So, loving this, loving this. Thank you so much, Lazaro. This has been a great delight, a pleasure, a, play, a very playful and meaningful episode. So tell us, how can we know more about your work and find your next shows? Well, uh, at the moment, uh, I'm going to perform in, in Czechoslovakia, in Praga, and Bruno. Uh, I, will, I, I will add my, the links to my uh, Instagram and Facebook so okay. people can look into the, the GoPro performance, you know, through that. And I, I'm working on my website and all of that. Because I've always been a little bit detached from, you know, from the that part. Like I need to really take uh, and organize it because I'm not so good uh, with technology. So, uh, it's like I can be without and and <laughs> move somewhere and be there with my body. So, but but I reach out and I always try to keep a little bit notes and images with friends around the world. So uh, Instagram and Facebook, you okay. can uh, shout. Instagram and what's your Instagram handle? My uh, it's GoPro performance. I don't, the yeah, the link. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna pa pass you the information as well. Perfect. So you have, I'm and I'm working on the website, so I will send you the website as well. Yeah. We'll be and, looking forward to see your website with the notes and inspirations and background. And, and, and now on, I'm gonna share even even the notes and every little details because yeah. you enjoy so much that video. So and, and if it inspires, then yeah. for me that's that's a note, you know. Yeah. So I must keep doing that and share it. Yes. So loving it. Loving thank it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Wonderful time sharing this. Wonderful time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ciao.